Yeah, this is always the dilemma. What to take and how much. I think I'm going to need the bigger backpack today. It's better at holding the tripods, but I always take too much stuff. Let's get going. We have a collab to do. Well, we were very excited to get up and meet Emily Olson. Welcome her to the Smoky Mountain region of North and South Carolina. She had planned a great vacation here to hike and sketch, and we were just happy to be a small part of it. And even happier that she suggested we meet at one of our favorite places of all time, Biltmore State. Oh man, a collab made in heaven. We love this place. Only one small problem. Yeah, there was about an 80 to 90% chance of rain predicted for the day. But you know, we had planned a couple of backups just in case. This was one of them. This is actually called the boat dock. It's down on the Bass Pond area. It's one of the few shelters, outdoor shelters that they have. Another possibility was the conservatory, which is their greenhouse. There are a couple of large rooms in there that we might have been able to paint in. So we had those as backup. But we kind of kept our fingers crossed that we would be able to paint. And thankfully, the rain held off. It was great. It took us about an hour to get up there. Emily was already there sketching. She took the house tour. So right after lunch, we met and we got started. Hey! Hi, Steve Mitchell you. in the flesh! <laughs> All right! <laughs> it's so good to see you It's in good person. to see you. This will be fun. <laughs> Actually 3D in real life. I'm real, <laughs> sort of. We're going to have fun. There's so much to look at and see yeah. and paint. Uh, so. The whole time I was driving out here, I was thinking of you, by the way. <laughs> All the trees. Like this, this is why Steve yeah. lives here. Oh, God. Look <laughs> yeah. at these trees. That's why I'm obsessed with trees. <laughs> so, yeah. so where should we set up? I love these wisteria. We could paint some of this. We could paint some of the gardens down there. Just all kinds of places. So. <laughs> you have your Taylor Seema. Right. I have mine too. Like right, all I do. need to know. It's so lightweight. That was a really great recommendation oh, on your channel. I'm glad you like it. How do you think it compares to that Hugo? It's so much easier. Oh, is it? Easier to assemble. I considered that you go at one time. Look at us twinning today. <laughs> That's because I'm an influencer. <laughs> He's an influencer. I won't say what kind. <laughs> and I even have matching paper today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh. I figure, you know, if you have all the same supplies as a really good artist, you're going to make great paintings. Just going to match paint better.
Well, eventually we started wrapping it up. Here is Emily's final result. And I mean, it's just beautiful. She absolutely nailed it. Me, on the other hand, I think I drove my nail in a little bit crooked. Well, I had decided to experiment with a line and wash technique using a 9B pencil, and I've got a little bit more problem solving to do on that. More about that story later. As a matter of fact, I took that whole process into my studio and workshopped it a bit just to see what I wanted from the process, if I wanted to use it, and how it would work better. And that will actually be a video for patrons, so hang on for that. Regardless of how it turned out, I had a blast doing this with Emily. Anyway, on to day two of our collab. She was going to come down to Greenville and we were going to look at my studio, sort of tour it, talk shop, go to lunch, and then head downtown to Falls Park and do some plein air. Unfortunately, the rain decided not to hold off anymore. <laughs> No, oh, but it was great. I really enjoyed having Emily there. Just being able to chit chat with watercolor and look over some of my work. Transitioning your branch structure from a light background over to a dark background. I did the 30-30 challenge, painting every day, and you couldn't use anything to draw pre-draw. You had to just go right in with I paint. I had not heard of this challenge. Yeah. That sounds really fun. Yeah, and it's every well, We went to Charleston for a birthday weekend for me, and uh, I did this, and then wow. from photos, I did details. Yeah. This is actually is more conservatory. Yes! I actually saw a woman sketching yesterday in the conservatory. Yeah and yet challenging to figure out how you're going to compose it. And it's a good way to look at a lot of landscapes to yes. simplify them. Yes. We went ahead and went to lunch as planned. It was great talking with her there and just getting to know her a little better. And while at lunch, Emily had a brainstorm. A little competition, as it were. And for that story, you're going to have to go to her channel and see what happened.